Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We hope you are well. Thank you for joining us this morning. It would be great if you want to say good morning. We've got something, a really good giveaway, haven't we, we today? Have. We'll tell you about that in a moment. We'll just let some of you come online. We've got a whole host of push chairs out today. We're hiding within the We're pushers. We're hiding, aren't we? Because we've got two quite large push chairs yep. in front. So today we're going to be helping you, giving you some ideas about how to pick particularly that first push chair, yeah. because you do come into it and you don't really know what you are doing. So... It can be a little bit overwhelming at first. It say, can. So we're just here to just kind of help point out, narrow out how to kind of narrow the... Yeah, particularly if you're at larger. home, doing a bit of research at yeah. home and perhaps going to come in in the new it's year always to have a look. come back to this video and yep. kind of get your, your notes in. So we've got some people joining us this morning. So who's, who's number one? Laura Stroud, you were... Quickest fingers first this morning. Do you think they sit there waiting? Yeah, yeah. Or do we I hope know? so. <laughs> yeah, I hope we so. Hope, we hope they do, but... We hope they do. Laura Stroud, good morning, Laura Ford. It's the morning of Laura's this morning. It is. Good morning. Ellen Fernando, good morning. So we're going to see whether Facebook is going to play ball for us this morning. If you joined us yesterday, you will know that it didn't play ball and the comments we had to keep refreshing. So good morning, Gillian Moon. Lots of people joining us. So if you've just joined us, today we are looking at how to pick your first pushchair. If you've already been down that journey and picked yep. your first pushchair, perhaps you can give some of the new parents and the parents-to-be your advice and yep. your experience. That's one thing we always say is get your, um, do a bit of research. Do as much always. research as you can. And it just helps because, like you say, this is only just some of the pushchairs yep. that we sell. So it just gives you a bit of an idea of how to narrow your search down. it can be very, very overwhelming. We do yeah. find first time parents come into store and, you know, we have a very large store yeah. and we have a wide choice of push chairs. Uh, you know, yeah. pr the majority of the brands that are available and it can be very overwhelming. So a lot of people have done a lot of research before, watch videos on YouTube. There are lots of demonstration and review videos yeah. on Push Chair Expert YouTube channel and also on our pushchairexpert.com website with all the full reviews on there. Yeah. So today we've got a prize. I know you're waiting. Who wants to know what the prize is? Does anybody know what the prize is? Can they spot the prize? Can they spot the prize? Of course they can't. Of course they can't. So we've got more people joining us this morning and we're going to run through our prize. I'm just having a look whether the comments are loading because yesterday they weren't, which was very frustrating. But don't worry if they're not. We've got the girls in the office are watching and they will help us draw yeah. the winner at the end. So today we're going to have not one winner, two winners. Two winners. Two, two winners. winners. So today we are giving away what I was pretty much a baby essential. Everyone needs one. Everyone needs one. It's one of our lovely changing mats, our mamas and papas changing mats. I'm going to see whether I can um, hang them on this pushchair. I did, oh, you, you, you set you yourself think? a challenge there. I have set myself a challenge, particularly when I can't actually see what I'm doing. So, <laughs> whether I can hang one these, on there. These big pushchairs come in handy. Hey, look, look, I've got two on mine. Well, I'm just placing mine You're in You're just placing it. Yours. What happens when we move it? They fall over, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they fall over. We have a wide range of changing mats um, in store from your plastic ones to your material ones and I suppose your more comfortable ones. These are incredibly popular, on offer at the moment from £19 to £15. Pounds. £15, pounds, So yeah. part of our January sale that has come and early. Like an essential, say, for it everyone is. that needs, uh, that has a baby um, or is going to be a parent uh, very soon. I so say they're really, just what I call the standard, just the standard, really nice changing mat, yep. easily to wipe off, as you can see, they're not just boring patterns. They come in lots of different designs. So let's have a look. Designs. Do you have a favourite one, George? I'm just going to squeeze it. Yeah, I must admit, I do have my favourite. So um, we've got the whale design here. Yeah. Um, with its upside down sticker on, look. Oh, yeah. oh, mamas and papas, you're upside down today. So mamas and papas changing mats, as we say, should be £19. They're £15. Whale one, we've got this on one of our nursery sets, the Ickle yeah. nursery set outside. It looks beautiful. We've got the sheet. We find the sheep very popular with people in store. Maybe very because neutral we have colours. a lot of sheep farmers around us. Yeah. We've got our floral pattern. That's my favourite. Alphabet floral pattern. Yeah, that's in the Bory furniture. Bory, yeah, it goes area, really, really nice. You've elephants. Got elephants on here. Again, a really, really popular design. Ele elephants are, are very loved. And we have this in our baby style, don't we? It is, baby yeah, style, baby style furniture. Because we have our... Um, oh, stay. Stay. That, that's the theme we are going for in there. Um, you've got your safari theme. 
I wonder which one people will choose. Let us know if you're our winner. Which one stands which out one do you, you like? Yeah. And then, of course, your rainbow design. Um, and it's, again, just really appropriate, especially everything going on at the minute. It's really nice, isn't it? And design? it's the one thing that when my children were little, I had more than one changing mat. Had one under the sofa, yeah. had one upstairs, have, literally have them everywhere. I had one at my parents' house as well. Yeah. Because although you've got your changing bag with your mat in, your mats are very small. Yeah. So I just used to have one upstairs in yeah. uh, little one's bedroom one under the sofa so i didn't have to go upstairs i'm ever so lazy you can tell but when baby yeah, needs when baby needs changing you don't want to take your and, poon army and one for child. the price and two how just easy it is to store yeah it's the best thing just to kind of have multiple around the house i think <laughs> buy your parents one for when they're babysitting that's what i say it, yeah or when when this one's um had a poo explosion here you go you have a changing mat now to change so we've got more people joining us jesse joy hi jesse hello Gemma rocky to be she says they're so beautiful laura ford likes the floral alphabet pattern i think it's down there yeah this what one. i'm pointing at um steph redman good morning and lily johns uh, another vote from steph redman for the floral uh lily thank you for tagging in your friends anna louise pinkerton she likes the sheep melissa um gusberti says i have the whale one and it's brilliant and yeah. i'd love another one from that for downstairs so we're glad you're enjoying that one um, Gemma can't choose. She says they're all too beautiful. They are real, really nice. Well, don't worry, uh, Gemma. We'll keep bringing them on so that you can see them. And but we have got two winners. Two, two winners. winners. So um, those two winners can pick and choose which one they would like. So um, I wonder if they'll pick the same one. Maybe, which which knows? one's your favourite, the floral this one, one? Yeah. I just, I just think it's so. It's very pretty, it's isn't very, it? It's very, very pretty and just, yeah, just a look. But then if I had to choose after that, I think I might go elephant. You see, I like the floral one and I like the elephant, uh, the whales. Yeah. I love the colours in the whales. So, anyway, we don't I'll be rest. happy with any of them. <laughs> Let's get rid of our changing mats for now. And we are going to be talking about how to pick your first pushchair and giving some advice of what to look for, whether you're coming in store, whether you're shopping online. But also, if you've already picked your first pushchair, maybe you're a mum or baby's already arrived, Maybe you've got two, three, four, five, six children or more. Any advice? Because it is about yeah. giving other people advice. And what, what were you looking for? What was the things that you looked for when it was choosing your pushchair? Because they say it's some things that sometimes people just don't think about. Oh, oh, oh I need this or how to narrow it down. So, um, Sammy says she loves the rainbow one and the floral one. Uh, morning, Joe Meekin. Kirsty Blondie Boutas, I hope I've said that right. I say that every time, don't I? I said, you know, yeah. love them. She's got twin boy and girl. Do you think a pink letter floral one would be okay? Yeah. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'll grab that one. Yeah. I think it depends on your decor, but, you know, at the end of the day, your baby's not going to complain anyway because you're changing them. No, I'd be happy. Yeah. So I, I'd have something that matched my own decor and that I like. Jolene says she likes the sea animals, so it's the whale one. Leanne, Carlin, elephants. Megan Brothwell, elephant would match her nursery. Uh, Gemma is now between the floral and the elephants. So, Joyful Evans, late joining this morning. Morning all. Good morning, Joy. You're here, that's You're amazing. Here. You're here, so that's fine. So, um, we have got out a variety of pushchairs for different reasons to show you this morning. Yeah. Um, as you can see, we'll start with our... Um, Grand. Yeah, grand, uh, larger pushchair, shall we say, that are available in store. Um, so here we've got the Prestige on the classic chassis and the Silver Cross Balmoral there. So as you can see, both... It does talk, they just talk for themselves, don't they? Should we really? just go? Yeah. <laughs> Should we just go? So a little bit different to the pushchairs you may have seen, particularly if we start with the Balmoral. Yeah. It's a very, very traditional option. Now, for some people, this could be their dream pushchair. Yeah. We have we sell, do sell these to a lot of people with farms, actually, yeah. because it will cut through that mud. You can't have a seat unit with it. I feel like I'm talking through the parasol, so I'm just going to move here. <laughs> Avoid the My parasol. <laughs> poke me in the eye. Um, so a lot of people, and also they do hand it down from generation to generation. Yeah. They are beautifully built. If you've got a Mini, it's not going to fit in your car, no. without a doubt. No. Um, you know, it, it is for that person. Often they're walking from home, as opposed yeah. to in and out of the car. It, you know, it is big to get in and out of your car. Yeah. Um, spacious, 
doesn't come with a seat unit because you can use this even with a toddler who is sitting up because you've got the reins with it as well. Yeah. Anybody at home got a bowel moral? Gemma says she loves the silver cross. Ah, I, I pronounce Kirsty Blondie Butas' name perfect. Oh, good. She says nice. it's her nickname due to safety reasons. So I wonder whether she's a teacher, because lots of teachers or people in nurses, social yeah. services and things like that have a nickname. So. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. Sarah Clark says she loves the coach built. They are, they are it, beautiful, Again, it's like they? it talks for itself. It is really, really, it's just beautiful. And they're all handmade up in a factory in yeah. Skipton. So they're all put together up in Skipton. Um, they come beautifully boxed, a very large box, I might add, <laughs> a very large box, but, um, you know, they are gorgeous. And the bounce on that, I mean, I think this is probably our closest, if we're talking bouncy prams. That's so a bit more compact. It is a little bit more compact, but both of these are what we would class as your more traditional bouncy pram. Although your prestige that we've got here has a lot of very contemporary features. Yeah. So we'll get rid of the Balmoral. <laughs> it's a little bounce. bit. Where are you going to bounce it off to, Georgia? I don't know. Where should I put it? You could just put it behind. Just put it behind the cameraman. It's fine. Or in the corner. It doesn't matter. So here we have the Prestige, and this is the new Prestige that has just come out. A beautiful, beautiful colour, and we've got it on the classic chassis. The way that Prestige works is you can choose whether to have an active chassis, which has twizzling wheels at the front. Yep. So your more city person, whereas this one has got your fixed wheels, but it is bouncy. The bounce on it is beautiful. I mean, it's, it, it's obviously well made, look, because look, it's not falling off. <laughs> you fitted it correctly, well done, no pressure there. One of the new things about your new Prestige is this sun visor, which is lovely. Lots of people will drape something over the top, whereas this, if it is sunny, it's hard to talk about the sun in December, isn't it? Yeah, I miss, I miss the sun. <laughs> I miss the sun too. Um, this will allow that airflow to go round um, yeah. there like that. You've got your basket underneath, quite an open basket. I am just going to take this down so that I don't poke myself in the eye. <laughs> That's not what you want. No, in fact, I'm going to take it off just for a moment. But yeah, it's a good, it's, it's, an, it's a lower basket, so it's not very deep but you can easily access it from the front and on from the back. Um, because it's on the classic chassis, you have obviously got your nice big four wheels. Um, they are air-filled. They're air-filled wheels. And because it's very different to the active chassis, the active chassis has the swivel wheels. Um, these, if you want to turn corners, it's a case of using your rear wheels. Just lift. Yeah. But you do get used to it. Yeah. But so you need to think about your lifestyle when you're choosing your first pram, where you're going to be taking your, your pram or your pushchair. Yeah. How much room you've got in the boot? Yeah. Do you live in the countryside? How much walking do you do? Yeah. Are you more city based? Are you um, more countryside and do a lot of like say muddy field walking on things like that? It's all down to what you want. Are you a dog walker? Do you have dogs and want to be able to take your pushchair with you? It's all those criteria you have to kind of think about. There is no no perfect push chair for everybody. No, there is not one per no. push chair that is going we to We do get asked everybody. a lot, what's the, what's the perfect push chair? Yeah. And to be honest, it all depends on you and your lifestyle. Every one of us that um, works here all has a different lifestyle and what criteria. Yeah. So we all would choose a different push chair. Same with you guys when you are purchasing. I always say it's a little bit like going out to buy a dress. They've all got a hole here, two holes here and a hole here. But yeah. what suits George and what suits me is going to be very different. Yeah. So... Let's have a little bit of a closer look. I'm just going to pass that. Oh, sorry, Georgia. I'm Wait. just going to run over Georgia's toe. My poor toe. Sorry, Georgia. She's going to be hobbling yeah. away. Anybody got any questions about the prestige? Let us know. Would you go for a, a more big, um, bouncy pram? Or do you yeah. need, would you prefer something a little bit more compact? Don't forget all your questions and comments today are entered into the draw to win a Mamas and Papas changing mat. And yep. we've got two to give away. So keep asking us questions. If you can hit share, that would be awesome. Just some of the features on here, again, just to help kind of narrow down if you quite like a feature on here. Um, and it's just something to look for. This one has got your rotation handle. So you use your two buttons and you can bring your handle really low. And you can also have it really high. So some will have a more rotation handle like this. If I just grab while we're sort of talking about... In comparison. In comparison. You've got your telescopic handle. You've got more of your telescopic handle. 
So more of a trombone movement. The biggest difference, let's say your rotation, typically they go a little bit a lower. A lot lower. Um, a lot yeah, lower. Yeah, that's as far as I can go. Um, and it, it, it depends on push chair to push chair, and you just want to check the height of them. Sometimes the rotation handles don't come as high, but it varies. So you see here there's not much difference, to be honest. Um, but some do don't, don't come as high. Um, but that's something to look for. So Helen Knight says her perfect push chair would be a double coach pram. Oh, wow. Wow. Steph Redmond says rugby field is where my push chair will go. All three boys, including my hubby, play rugby. Yeah. So, so you want some... Steph, you, you need to be looking at push chairs with bigger wheels, something that's small, got smaller wheels. A little bit wheels. all terrain. You're going to get stuck. Yeah. You're going to get stuck. Yeah, you don't want a necessarily a really small, compact, small wheeled push chair because that you would struggle um, kind of going across those... However, areas. if you live in flat, maybe you've got yeah. lots of stairs to go up and down, you're not going to want to carry this up and down no. all those stairs. Or if you live in a city, for example, yep. London, or somewhere that's you, you're on and off the trains, and you need something that's a little bit easier, a bit more compact for yourself. Um, or have a smaller boot. Okay. Yeah. So Lauren says, which is easier for little ones to help with pushing? I think she's going back to the handles. It, again, it depends it on the push chair, but often your ones with the pivot and the rotation will go a little bit lower. As you can see... That's as low as it will go, and that's a, lot, a, a really low height, to be honest, for little ones to help. Yes, but you're not being funny, but you're not going to be able to see over the hood anyway. No, but they'll just help. <laughs> you stand there, don't you, sort of guiding yeah. them around the back, and they think they're pushing, but actually yeah. you're not pushing. So let's have a... So we've had a look at handles there. We've talked a little bit about wheels. So shall we have a quick look at the carry cot? Yeah. So we'll take the sun visor off. So this is... As you can see, um, probably in comparison to some, it's quite a large carry cot, um, which is really nice. Um, again, it, it, it depends. It varies. If you have quite a small boot, you may want to go for something that has a little bit of a smaller carry We're cot. We're going to have a look at some more petite systems yeah. in a moment that still give you the opportunity to have a carry cot as well. But the carry cot um, on all will last you roughly up to nine kilograms, um, which is around birth, from birth to six months old. After that, it would be the seat unit you would be looking at. And you also need to bear in mind some pushchairs you can use the seat unit from birth and some pushchairs it is from six months. For the first six months of baby's life, we need to keep them nice and flat as much as possible. Unless you're in a car accident, then we want them in the car seat a little bit more upright. So nice and flat. So with your prestige, for example, your seat unit is from six months. You have got a very large carry cot. Um, I, with your prestige yeah a really really large carry cot uh, it's very protective from all the elements so if you're out and about walking and things like that it is nice and warm as well and we've got leaflets with instructions in them and all kinds all to keep us uh, nice and organized so as you can see a really nice size carry cot i've you, got a baby somewhere this um specific say so that this prestige has your two pockets um at the foot there great to keep a dummy can I put baby in? Yeah, just to give you a size comparison there. This is roughly around the size of a six month old. So it's got plenty of room in there. Yeah, nice size. And you probably can tell on the base of the curry cot. Sorry, the head is, baby. Sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, it, baby. The head of the curry cot is slightly lifted. And what that, the reason why that is, is because at the base here, what you have underneath, if I can try and show. So some carry cots, you have the opportunity to put what we uh, call in store our, a colic lift. Yeah, so and what like it does lift is, at the I think there. the fabrics are just on the top of it and that's why. That's it. Go up. There we go. It just allows you to sit little one up um, if they are colicky or they have got reflux. Obviously, nobody has a crystal ball before they have baby no. to see whether you're going to have a colicky baby. But it is a nice feature, and there are some more of your larger prams, so a lot of your Venici yeah. will have this fa um, built in as well. Yeah, so it's really nice. Gives little one um, that little bit of elevation in the head, say colicky, quite sicky, or you can keep it always in that life flat position. It's, it's personal preference. Not all have that, um, but it's a nice little feature. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> And a frog in my throat, <laughs> um, and a nice little feature on some of the carry carts. So if you are, and the other thing that it does is it can give you a bit of longevity with your carry yep. cart, because if a little one wants to sit up, they're not lifting their shoulders up, they're propped up so they can see a little bit more of the world. So A, you've got a bigger carry cart, but B, you'll probably get a bit more longevity out of it because of the size, 
but also the fact you've got the lift under your mattress, which will help them sit up. Yeah. You've also got the ability to attach some reins with this pushchair. Yeah. So some of the carry carts will have that ability. If you're not sure on your carry cart, have a look underneath your mattress and there'll be just two hoops that you attach just your traditional reins to. Yeah. Um, and another little feature on this specific one, um, it's something I quite like with a carry cart is ventilation. Um, especially for the, if you're having baby, um, baby born in the summer months. This one has a big panel of ventilation at the back. You can see there, perfect um, amount of ventilation just to allow that airflow for your little one. And this specific one, Prestige, it has the gorgeous ventilation on the top of the carry This top. is really clever. Really, really clever. I don't know another carry cart that has the ventilation on the top like that. No. It Do you, Georgia? No. And I say it's a really clever design, um, perfect for what you need. And as you can see, big, big panel. What you would do is just roll it all the way up and then it tucks out the way. So nice and clever, really, really well thought of. Alex Bristow thinks the pockets are really handy, yep. as does Steph. Um, Jolene says we're so full of facts. Yeah, Thursday facts day. Yeah. Thursday facts day. But hopefully we're making you think about some of the things that you might look at with a pushchair. A lot of this will carry on if you've already had your first pushchair and you're looking at strollers, you know, things like um, what kind of wheels you're going to need. Yeah. So hopefully we are helping with that. All our comments, all our questions today are entered into our draw to win one of our Mamas and Papas changing mats available in, how many designs have we got? Four or five? Quite Maybe. a bit. Lots, lots of designs. Lots and lots of designs. And we're going to have two winners. We've got six designs. Two winners. Um, so if you win, you'll be getting one of these in the courier tomorrow. Yeah. Talking of courier, we have up, we are upgrading anybody who, we have free courier delivery. There. Shall I start again? Which one of those days, though? We're trying to get, struggling to get our words out. We are. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. We have free delivery for any orders over £50. Below £50, you can select either Royal Mail or Next Day Courier. We are upgrading all our Royal Mail customers to Next Day Courier, free of charge at the moment, yep. because we know that poor old guys at Royal Mail are like stacked, aren't they? Yeah. Completely stacked. So any purchases will go on Next Day Delivery. And remember, we do deliver Saturdays and Sundays. We do. So we have got, uh, as yesterday... Our lovely Facebook people are not refreshing the comments, so they're not all coming up, so that's why I keep having to refresh. Alex Bristow says she found the feature really useful on the Vinici with her sickly baby, so I think she's talking about what the we colic call lift, the yeah. colic lift there. Um, Gemma says this would have been handy for her little girl because she had reflux. Yeah. Oh, Sinead Robertson, my biggest regret with buying a pram is not coming to see you first. Oh, Sinead, we would have loved to see you. Absolutely love to see yeah. you. If you can't get in store, remember we do do our video yeah. consultation so we can help the most, you know, as much as we can. Um, Sarah said, can you buy a lift pillow if the carry cots don't have them? There are some aftermarket products available, but you do need to be very, very careful um, because I have seen some, you know, on places like eBay where I would be very concerned if baby rolled over, they weren't breathable enough. So if you've got it in your pram from Get Set Go, it is a bonus. Yeah. So you can get them, but just make sure you buy a reputable brand. Yeah. So, what should we have a look at next? Um, the Cassato is drawing my attention. <laughs> Mr. Fox. How can it not draw your attention? I don't know if it's the pattern or what it does. Who knows? Have to, uh, let's see if um, everyone else likes the little feature So we've on gone it. from our big push chairs. So yep. we've gone from looking at the, the silver bigger cross bigger model cups. and looking at our prestige. So we'll look at something that might be, you know, if you're short of space, you don't have much storage space, yeah. this might be something that is going to work better for you. Yeah. So the Cassato one here, you see, this is basically, as, as you see here, is how it works. Believe it or not, this is the seat carry cart and it will be the seat unit. What happens is it's all in one and you then magic. change... It's like magic, yeah. It like magic. magically changes at six months. <laughs> um, but what you do is then just change the shape of the material into more of a seat unit material for your little one. So this is how you would start it off. Um, the carry cart mode. Um, really, really nice size. Really, really gorgeous material as always. Um, obviously, they have lots of different patterns. And this is just the Mr. Fox. Um, 
obviously you've got your brighter, lighter design on the inside, um, designed very cleverly by Cassato to stimulate baby. Yeah, they work with the Sussex Baby Lab, so all their patterns yeah. um, ha have been tried and tested. They're not just random, I know, let's put a fox this shape on, you know. Yeah. So they are really, really well thought out. And it's very hard to see through, but your large foxes on the outside actually shine yeah. through. So you have there. got your um, different pattern on the inside, but you can see the outside pattern um, on the inside reflecting through, which is really, really nice. I don't know how well it will show on camera. But this is the Cassato Giggle Mix, okay? Oh, I didn't mention what it was, did I? I just said Cassato. Just said Cassato, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry, I've got you back. I've You've got, got you back. back. So the apron is a zip-on, which is nice, and people quite prefer uh, maybe a, a zip-on, just knowing that it's all secure on there. No um, noisy Velcro. Yeah, no, no Velcro. There are also, another option is magnetic. Some push chairs have like a magnetic apron. So they're, they're loving the, main... the foxes. Give us a thumbs up if you love the foxes. If you've hit share this morning, thank you very much. Don't forget all your comments are entered into our draw to win one of our Mamas and Papas changing yep. mats today. And we're going to have two winners. We're going to draw it live at the end, so make sure that you stay tuned. And at the end, I'm going to tell you about the prize for tomorrow, because tomorrow's prize is a good one. It is. It not is saying today's prize isn't a good one, but tomorrow's prize is a good a one. A little so extra we'll you, good. We'll give you a little hint. Uh, well, we'll tell you at the end what we're going to be giving away. <laughs> we're getting thumbs up for the foxes, which is, oh, yeah. we thought we would. Yeah, really, really nice um, fleeced apron there. And if I just grab the baby again, just to show you size-wise, it's always a bit handy to give you a bit of um, size difference. Come on, baby. One of our babies. We've not got baby David out today. We've no, got one baby. of our two little tiny babies. We won't tell you what we call them. Mine is leg. I was trying to be careful, and it didn't quite work. But, <laughs> yeah, but, but yes, you can see. She's it's, not crying. No. Um, really good size again. Still has that room in the base there. Um, and it's a really nice padding. Lots of padding in here. Now, lots of one. people with a carry cart, babies, can we just put baby in a minute, sorry. Oh, what sorry. Is my baby? You can't, no, I just need to show something. Lots of, you <laughs> don't go with it, poor leg. <laughs> Wee! <-hee. laughs> Leave your baby alone. <laughs> lots of people, when they get their feet to the bottom and their head at the top, say, oh, they've outgrown it, you know, but babies actually, um, as long as they've got a finger at the top, and a finger at the bottom, they're absolutely fine. And people say when they get a bit bigger because you start off with a newborn and they can't touch the sides and your bigger baby obviously can touch the sides, but it is a little bit like a hug. So we would always say, make sure you don't move your baby over too early into your seat no. unit because most of them are six months, not all of them. There are some, say, that's something else we can look at. Some seat units can go from birth. They are. But watch well. your space. We'll talk about those in a moment. Yeah. Can I take baby out now? Yeah, you can. You can. So we've got lots of comments coming in. Thank you very much. Joanna Longworth joined us this morning. I recognise that name. We yeah, bought our yes, we bought our Bugaboo Fox 2 from you and we love it. Great fold, great for rough ground. Carry cot can be um, you, she look oh and she loves the extended hood. Yeah. One thing to look at is the hoods, because sometimes your hood will extend so far, like on the fox, that you um, often don't need a rain cover. No. Sorry, we digress. We, we digress. We went from the fox to the. Uh, we went from. Oh yeah, the, the fox. The fox. <laughs> We're yeah. still talking about foxes, you see. So the like I said, this is the curry cut and also the seat unit. To so swap it over from the curry cut mode to seat unit, all you have here is an inlay. And you can see, I'm just unzipping all the way round. Whoa, they're all due. Their third baby. Oh, wow. Yeah, in July. But look, Steph and Kirsty, Steph Redman and Kirsty Hickling, both having their third baby in July. My Congratulations. Third, my third baby was born in July. Maybe July, it's a thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's a thing. Yeah. I don't know. Third baby's always in July. Maybe um, not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, this all can then be removed, say, when the little one reaches six months. Um, take this all out. Do you want me to take it? So, all you've got to store is this which folds nice and flat that's all you've got to store we would always recommend any bits you need to store pop them in a uh, pillowcase because a pillowcase will keep them nice and yeah. dust free and nice and soft so as you can see here all i've done is just use my two buttons one either side change the angle of the seat so it's not, not with baby the, no it's not in the um, life flat position anymore and it's just two simple steps. All you then need to do 
is just using your button at the back that then sits up the back part of your seat here and then it's like magic I'm just trying to think how I can show the other one if I take this off underneath here you have the same so the same here you're doing all a great then, job Georgia all you then need to do whoa it's getting spooky Jolene Jojo Stanley her best friend is due her third baby in July as well oh something going on there something going something on something going on there you then would just buckle in the one at the bottom Abigail has joined us Abigail Roland Ronaldson sorry having baby number two next month she still hasn't sorted anything out hardly well Abigail we hopefully need to we'll help. be able to help we have you help. set up a wish list on our website because that can help you narrow some things down yeah, uh, we can always do a video call for you whether you want to look at furniture, baby carriers, push chairs, strollers. If you want to help listing what sort of things you wouldn't, I mean, obviously, a second baby, you know what you use first time, but if there's anything you're specifically thinking, oh, do I need that? Do I need not need that? Mm. Get in touch. So, we're looking at at the moment the giggle mix. What we're doing is we're helping people this morning, and lots of parents who are watching are putting, should we say, putting in their two penneth and offering advice to other parents and yep. parents to be, which is awesome. We're a, Great family community at Pushchair Expert. We're looking at all the things you need to think about or you, you perhaps should think about when you are picking your first pushchair. Because uh, do, you don't always get it right. So if you can go through that process of thinking about your lifestyle and also your budget, because yes. it's important, we are very, very aware that having a baby is expensive. <laughs> very, very expensive. And if you think it stops after the baby's born... <laughs> I'm still waiting for it to stop, okay? <laughs> it just keeps on going. So it is important that you don't overstretch yourselves and that you uh, try very hard to stick to your budgets. Yeah. So we will always try and help you stick to the budgets and get the best push chair that suits your lifestyle, um, but also uh, suits your budget. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like this one, for example, perfect for those. You, you've, you've not got to carry cut to store. Yeah. Um, you've just got, the, like you say, the inserts and your carry cut apron. That's the only things you have to store when you're swapping it over. And we've got some great deals on the whole of Casato yep. range. And we've got some in-store only deals on Casato and some other bits and pieces. So if you are local, yeah. do pop in because you don't see everything on the website. Yeah, just to refresh, say it's just the two buckles at the back um, creates that seat uh, position for you. Then it's ready to go. Um, into the seat you obviously you've still got the same hood on there the only thing you put on differently um, is your foot muff and this is included um, in there um, obviously keeps the same design and it would just zip on in the same way that your apron would have zipped on just to keep your little one nice and cosy and cosy and warm at this time of year <laughs> somebody's asked what's the budget yes I know having a child <laughs> it all goes out of the window Helen says I wish carry cots had higher weight limits as my seven month old loves to sleep in it and her seat doesn't go flat well Helen most of your carry cots are safety tested to nine kilograms which is actually your average sort of nine ten month old yeah. with everything everything is safety tested to a higher weight limit than perhaps the age of child you are going to use it for. Yeah. So often you can extend that. Don't necessarily look at the age. You have got the weight to look at Yeah, just make well. sure you're sticking to that nine kilograms. We yep. say six months because it's typically the size and the stage of your little one for them to come out of their carry cot. Um, but yeah, like I say, you've got that a little bit of So there are time. a few push chairs that have the same kind of concept as our Casato Giggle Mix, yep. where you have your carry cot and then you unzip parts of it sometimes you're unzipping a liner like you are with the Casato giggle mix yep. sometimes you are just moving the harnesses at the bottom to make your seat unit in those instances you do have to strap your child in because it's what yep. we call a soft carry cot yeah anything like this you cannot use for occasional overnight sleep so again pros and cons to think about um, so you've got something like this, you've also got Maxi Cozy Zelia, yep. Ickle Bubba Moon, so there's a number that do the same kind Very of Very similar things. concept, yeah. Um, but this one, believe it or not, the Casato is one, so you see the inlay that we had, um, it is the only one that um, has a separate inlay. Has a separate inlay. Which so we like, not, well done Casato. Yeah, really nice. It just means then you're not having to use obviously those straps um, for newborn baby. But yeah, really, really nice design, really clever. Great for less storing, um, and it's just really, really clever and how it all nice works. And a nice budget-friendly option. Yeah, keeps the um, rotating handle again on there. <laughs> Laura Marsh says she's lost count on the amount of prams and pushchairs we've had, although my husband hasn't. 
Isn't it funny how husbands keep in my, partners, reminding, they yeah. know that amount, but I bet they don't know, you know, how many pairs of trainers they've had or, yeah. you know, golf clubs or something yeah. like that. A per se per se, when you, when you have children, it's what you use all the time. So, you so Alex make it... Bristow said, can you recline the seat unit if they fall to sleep? Yes, you yes, can. Yes, you can. So it's the same. Two buttons you'll take, use to take the seat off, push two buttons in, and then you have got three positions there. So perfect for napping on the go in there and you can also have it world facing yep. as well so parent facing or world facing again something if you want in say most will um in fact i think all will I'm trying to think of one that isn't but yes that can go parent and world facing some of the push chairs we're going to look at in a moment from birth will not go uh, parent facing but this one will parent face or world face but it clicked in there so this is the Casato Giggle Mix in Mr. Fox. So a great option if you haven't got a lot of space to store a separate carry cot, but still want to use a carry yeah. cot. And there are a number of pushchairs that have a similar kind of feature, similar way of working where you don't have a separate carry cot, but it still is that carry cot yeah. environment. But if there's something features on here that you quite like, um, yeah, there's, there's a multiple to choose one. This is just one of the options we thought we'd show you. Uh, what should we look at next, Joan? What do you fancy? Shall we do... Um, should we do the other concept of... The other concept. So you've got your all-in-one. <laughs> yep. Two-in-one? Two-in-one, yeah. Let's do two-in-one. So, this is a... Ooh, this is a crash. <laughs> Sorry. That's what happens with these chairs. We're not pushing into things. So this is the eye candy cereal. Um, it is the limited edition peach. And... Eye candy is, go, like we were just saying, the two-in-one system. What that means is in your p box, as you would purchase, you would have your pushchair chassis. You then have your frame that you see here that we have got the carry cot material on. The buttons here are what you would use to recline um, the footrest on the seat. So you would get your carry cot material in your box. You then would get your seat unit material. And what you would do is set it all up, use it, the carry cut material on your frame. Put that on and use it for the first six months, roughly nine kilograms. Then what you would do is zip that all off and then put on your seat unit material. You'd swap over the hood and the bumper bar onto both. So you're essentially all you're then having to store is just this carry cot material. Your carry cot materials. And there are a number of push chairs that work in the same Similar way. Similar way, yeah, again. Sometimes you get a separate unit and then you store the whole carry cot and then you have a separate seat unit. Yep. Um, but with the Cerium, you've got uh, the same frame, so not quite as much to store. And other push chairs that work like this, let's, let's have a... Burger Boo Fox. Burger Boo Fox. Jules. Ickle Bubba. Jules Stomp. Bay. Jules uh, Geo. Yep. Um, yeah, it could probably stump. I'm just working my way around the store. That's what I do. I visually try and remember. <laughs> visually going um, for a walk. Casato, Giggle, what am, I, what am I trying to think of? The quad. Quad. The quad. The quad has the one frame, two fabrics. Um, you've got... So, various... Lots. There's lots more yeah, brands doing it now. Um, just because it's easy storing. It is easy storing. And quite environmentally friendly. Because yeah. actually, you don't need this. You, no. know, you may as well use this metal frame. Or else it's going to be sat there yeah, waiting, yeah. Um, so, so you're taking it off and you can just then store your material really nice. It does literally take you a couple of minutes. Um, and what you would say is do, you would swap it, only really swap it once unless you reuse your push chair again for a second child. Um, but yeah, really, really cleverly designed. Features on here that I really, really like is the bumper bar. So the bumper bar itself um, is what I call gate opening. Completely swivels out the way allowing you to get to your little one really, really easily. So that's one thing to think about, because some yeah. bumper bars like the Casato, yeah, clicks straight up and stays in the upright position. Still out the way, but this one allows you to completely tuck it away, which I think is a lot nicer on the seat unit as well. Yes, no, especially on the seat unit. So we've got a question from Lisa, who said, when is it recommended to go world-facing? Well, that's completely yeah. up to you. What we would say is you... Most push chairs are safety tested to the same weight limit, parent and world facing, but not all. No, so there are some that have different limits. be a little bit careful. Um, I kept my three parent facing pretty much all the time. Well, number one and three say parent facing most of the time. Number two turned the other way, but he was incredibly grumpy. 
<laughs> Sorry, Harry, if you're watching. I know you're not at school, but I don't think you'll be watching this, so we'll be <laughs> all right. But so you can keep them parent facing pretty much as long as you want. Just make sure they're within the weight limit. Yeah. If you have got them world facing, the thing to remember is that when you're pushing them, you're pushing them into the unknown and you are behind them. So if you go to a city or, you know, if they're a bit under the weather and they're a bit grumpy, perhaps if you turn them around, A, they can see you. Yeah. So you've got your eye contact. You're not pushing them into uh, the unknown and also they've not got... The, sa the sounds and everything sort of yeah. rushing at them. And going on the opposite effect, so if you're going to places um, where you want your little one to see, like the zoo. zoo. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> we both thought that at the exact same we time. We did? Like the zoo. You, you don't necessarily want your little one to be watching you while you're there. So if you use, them, put, uh, use your push chair world facing, your little one can see obviously a lot more. So it's preference to be entirely honest. I'll show you some of the little features that this one does, specifically great for parent and world facing, which may help you to decide which one you want to Yeah, because there are some in. that can only world face, and we're going to look at one of those options in a moment yeah. as well. Or two of those options. Yeah. Um, really, really um, good. So another thing to look at when it comes to narrowing your push chair is, are you wanting to future-proof? Are you wanting to future-proof your push chair? Um, for example, the one here with the Sirium can be turned into a double. It can take two seats um, on here and two carry carts. Um, obviously not two seats and two carry carts at the same time, that would be amazing. <laughs> would be, yep. <laughs> Either two carry carts, one carry cot, one seat unit or two seat units. So we've got the Vista here as well, the upper baby Vista. So for some yep. people, even if they're not planning on a second child, but think, well, do you know what, just in case, or we might change yep. our minds, think about that future proofing. Um, you know, there are some push chairs that will go from a single to a tandem really really easily yeah. often you just have to buy another adapter and you can use what you've had at the beginning sometimes you have to buy extra frames yeah so push chairs that go from one child to two children we've got so i'm going to work my way around the store we've got the upper baby vista we have your got, eye candy peach you've got your cybex gazelle you've, you've got, got your egg. silver cross wave you've got your silver cross coast you've got egg you've got hybrid we've got out here we got... we're just working our way around so you've we're got just wow trying to Sato wow excel you've, you've got, got your jewels geo bugaboo donkey kind of your mountain buggy duex you can have a side basket instead of your second seat yeah but most people will use that as a double um have we got any more we got any more car? Uh, we've got uh, we're gonna beat ourselves because we really want those here. Nuna demi grow yeah we'll you Nuna demi grow yeah there We'll think of some. We'll, we'll I know we've probably missed one. But so there, there's, there are quite there a lot, lot that you have this option for, but it's certainly worth thinking about. Did you say Silver Cross Wave? Yes, and Coast. And Coast, yeah. But it's nice because, it's, as you can see, you wouldn't look at this and go, oh, it's a double push chair. Um, and the same with the Vista. It's a great single, but it's a bonus that it goes into a double. You may, may be going, yeah. You might need it. You might no, not. you might not. But it's always good to, if you're, you know you don't, you're never going to have another child, then you don't necessarily need to look at it. But if it's a possibility, it's always great to future proof, yeah. I think. Um, always something to look at um, with these. I just wanted to show you as well, specifically on the eye candy. Um, eye candy have what's called elevators. So it brings the carry cot up a lot higher for you. So these are just adapters that you can take on and off. Bringing the carry cot up and the seat unit up. A bonus, because you obviously, as you saw, the carry cot was quite high and quite close to you. Perfect for those first few months. Obviously, you want baby really, really close to you. Or you can have it lower if, say, a sibling wants to help push. It's a yep. lot of height for or them. Or if you're shorter, the thing to bear in mind is, as well as a parent, you know, if you are a taller parent, you need to think about your handle height. Yep. Come and give it, give push chairs a push around our test rack and over our cobbles and up and down our curbs. So that's something to think about. We always say, especially if you have a quite a tall parent, Always try to handle that, especially yep. specifically more tall because a lot more come quite low. Yep. But it's either way, really. You know, and bear in mind that if you, if either of you are quite tall, you might have quite a long baby. So think about yep. the size of your carry cot and then moving on to your seat unit. You know, if the if you are both quite short and there's no particularly tall ch tall people in your family, that might not be something. But at the same time, nobody has a crystal ball, and all children are different shapes yeah. and sizes. We yeah. wish we had a crystal ball, don't we? Wish, we wish, yeah. <laughs> Um, but it's something just to, bear, to look at when it comes to, because some, some seats are smaller than others. Um, but as you can see here, the Cerium Carry Cot, and it's, this is it's the same on the Eye Candy Peach, um, this it sits quite low. Um, but you've got multi-options there, it's quite nice. Also great, obviously, for the seat unit as well. 
And your elevators are included, so they're not an additional extra. No, they're it's all included. in the box. Yeah, all included. So you can bring carry cot higher to your carry cot lower. When it comes to seat units, if you, when little one moves into there about six months, you can keep those elevators quite high up, quite close to you. Then your little one is like a perfect age. Babbling away. Yeah. What's that communication? You can see them, they can see you. Um, I love to see little ones facing you. Yeah. Because you can get somewhere, you move on to six months and little one is facing away. For me, I would rather have, I've always had my children facing me, and as I say, they've faced me for quite a long time. It's great for that um, development with their speech yeah. and language as well. Children learn by copying. Yeah. So if they see you, again, they're learning about copying, they watch your facial features, yeah. you are reassuring for them. Yeah, definitely. Um, and the elevators can be used in the opposite direction. So the elevators, I've just popped them the opposite way. Um, and what you would do then is you, you can then use your seat unit um, Keep them either parent facing or world facing. Parent facing will just give you a little bit more access to your basket. So if you know you're going out for a day and you need a Shall lot more. Shall I grab more. the seat now? We've got everything here in our studio, but we just couldn't have everything on screen. Yeah. So I'm just so going to grab this. You can have your seat cameraman. parent facing um, towards you, a lot more access to your basket. Or if you have the seat world facing on these elevators, what you can then do is have them facing out. Say if you are going to the zoo, you need um, them to obviously a lot more they're a lot higher up and they can see more but it's perfect table height this is my blue peter moment because you've just told everybody about the fact that you have to unzip your fabrics from your carry cut and i've walked on with a carry cut already set up yeah we do cheat we did we did cheat because <laughs> we've got an extra frame yeah we have okay. it just obviously frame. helps us when it comes to demonstrating in store thank there you, you. Go. so this is the cerium seat um, obviously, imagine this is the same frame. I've just swapped it all over. Um, you'd pop just really quickly, as if by magic. Well done. Yeah, well done me. Um, so yeah, you'd swap the material over, use the same hood, and um, you would pop the same bumper bar on. If I just show you what I mean, so if I click it onto parent facing mode. Oh, Gemma Rocky says she misses her little girl f uh, facing her. She's in a stroller now. Jolene has joined us this morning and said both. She, they're both tall, both her partner and herself. Yeah. Um, her partner's six foot four and she's five foot eight. So the kids are following suit for yeah. sure. Yeah, they often do. So you want something that... But at least if we think about it, if they don't, and they're a little bit shorter, they're still going to fit. Yeah, yeah, you, you've always prepared them. Yeah, Megan Wright loves parent facing. Yeah. And Steph Redman, we're both tall, we need the handle height. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice little features always to look for. And as you can see here, there's the extension on the... <clears throat> Cerium is quite high. Um, the seat unit, I've popped into parent facing, a lot more access to your basket. But then if I take it off and put it world facing, on the I think you're off to a restaurant now, aren't you? I'm off. We're sat at the restaurant, and I can just then push my push chair straight up to the table. Perfect table height. Um, <laughs> Perfect during a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, face it. especially everything at the minute. You're then not having to um, use the high chairs that they have. So that's really nice. Really clever how it all works. And it's all included. It's not an additional purchase. Um, so I think I just, I just like the design of that. It's very clever. So Steph Redmond says she had the eye candy pear double when her boys were little and it was heavy. Yet the pear, which is quite an old eye candy, is a lot heavier than your peach and particularly your new peach. Okay. Any pushchair with two children in, two toddlers is going to be you know, heavy. Uh, unfortunately, once you get to having two children on a pushchair, you have got that weight to contend with. Yeah. And that's it without any adapters on. So it has lots of different um, options to use it as. So we have got the duo pod on it here. We've just not got the uh, bumper bar. Do you want to grab the bumper, bumper bar? Either. So you take your bumper bar from your carry cot and use it over onto your seat unit. So nice and environmentally friendly. We've got a little tag on here which i'm just going to take off just so that you can see you it. would also use your the same hood the same hood on both but we again have two just to make it a little bit easier for us that just then clicks on this is the duo pod it comes included with your um eye candy cerium and um, but it's if you have, beautiful isn't it it is lovely um but if you have your peach it would be a additional purchase it's just like cozy cozy toes for your little one fleeced all on the inside it's so soft Really, really <laughs> so, soft. So, so. They are so much better at doing cosy toes than they used to be years ago. They are so much nicer than they were 14 yeah. years ago when I had my oldest. So then you've got magnets just to keep that over. 
but it's just so and I love the the design specifically on the cerium it's really really nice um, but obviously the duo pod on every single one will match so well, so we've had a look at our eye candy we've had a quick look at Vista should we have another look at Vista yep. so eye candy and shall we swap eye candy and your Vista you know obviously you've got a higher price point than some but it will come with some additional features um, um, as we've always said, you know, think about your budgets, make sure you stick to your budgets. Yeah. Often the more, the more money you spend on a pram, and I don't want to sound salesy, but you've often got features like you've got a higher grade of fabrics and yep. a better suspension. It's the engineering and often it's the bits you can't see. Yeah. It's those little things and you may necessarily think, oh, I didn't think of that. I didn't think I would necessarily need that or, um, It's a bit like buying a car, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very, very similar. But little features on this one, for example, this is the um, Vista carry cot, Vista and Cruise carry cot. It has the pop-out visor. Built in, so it's not something you have to necessarily have with you. It means you don't have to have a parasol either nope. um, on the carry cot, um, with the carry cot mode, sorry. You have got your ventilation built in, so they have definitely thought of safety um, for your little one, especially after those summer months, because you will need that then. You have then a zip all the way around the bottom. I think they're liking the Vista. We're getting some hearts I, for the our Vista. The colour of this as well is beautiful. Finn is beautiful. Remember, all your comments, all your questions, you're entered into a draw to win one of our Mamas and Papas changing mats. We've got two to give away. I'll just grab the sheep. Oh, I'm sorry, cameraman. It's all right, cameraman. I'll come to you. Look. <laughs> <laughs> one of our, uh, you can choose your designs. We've got two people who are going to win yeah. today. If you've hit share, that is absolutely awesome. Let us know what design you would yeah, choose. Yeah, we, all your questions, we're trying to answer. Facebook, we're still having the same problem that we've had earlier on in the week. Yeah. Um, but I am trying to get back to you. If you've got any questions, if we happen to have missed you, obviously send us a message on our Facebook page and we will get back to you afterwards. Yeah. So Lorraine Richards asked, is there a double that has the littlest parent facing and the toddler world facing? Um, we've got the Phil and Ted's, but I'm missing my little one. Yeah, there's quite a few that you can yeah. do that now. Um, sort of top end, there is the Bugaboo Donkey yeah. that you can do that with. You've got your O oh Baby Zoom that you can do that with. You can do it with the Wow XL. Um, so there are quite a few yeah. that you can do that with. So do get in touch if we can help you further with that as well. Yeah. Big pan of ventilation. I would say, again, just something to look at. So not all have that. For example, your Cosato, it didn't have any ventilation on the material, but um, your Vista and some others do have ventilation too. It's just something, again, helps you narrow it down. Does it have ventilation? It's an important factor for me to have. Um, oh, I ideal for the July babies. Yeah. yeah. Those July, July babies, babies will need the ventilation. And some carry cots, the other thing to bear in mind is some carry cots you can use for occasional overnight sleeping, yep. so you won't need a travel cot for those first six months. Some carry cots you can get with a carry cot stand. So this one, for example, yep. you can buy a carry cot stand for it. Your Silver Cross Wave, you can buy a carry cot stand yep. for it. So as Joe said, this has been approved for occasional overnight sleeping. You can use it as your Moses basket. Um, so it eliminates having to buy an, that extra product necessarily um, for those first six months. Um, again, six months, nine kilograms. The stand um, you can have. Jessica Murphy, is it suitable for overnight sleeping? Yes. Yeah, it is. It is. You, you beat me to it. You beat you to it, you see. You can use it, okay, say, for occasional overnight sleeping. Pop it on your stand. It's at a perfect height for your little one. Um, clicks on and off the same way as it does on the pushchair chassis. Um, Joe Meekin says, the, Vis the Vista is amazing. I had the original one that I was lucky enough to win nine-ish years ago. Oh, wow. So she had the original one. I think she won it from us, actually, many, many years ago. Oh, wow. Many years ago. We've been giving push chairs and travel systems away for years <laughs> Very generous, now. Joe. I've had a Vista. I had a Vista with yeah. my youngest and loved my Vista. Yeah, Kelly, yeah. who you'll see on lives um, from time to time. Not this week, because she's on holiday. Not jealous, Kelly. No, it's fine, Kelly. You just sit back and relax. It's absolutely fine, but you'll be back on Monday, Kelly. Yep. Yep, so don't worry, Kelly. We'll make you work doubly hard <laughs> next week. Well, we'll sit back and relax. What yep. do you think? Anyway, Kelly had a Vista for two children. Yeah, and she loves it. She, she, she did, yeah. Vista. Yeah, we've all enjoyed our Vistas. Yeah. Hi, Hannah Hill. She just said hi. So, hi, Hannah. You have got, if I just show you, it has got a really nice deep carry cot in there really really nice and deep um good size carry cot for your little one something again to look at is the sizing of your carry cot because it's what you'll be using so to we grab our baby 
for the first six months. Obviously, you won't grab your baby by one arm. Or hit his head on the pushchair. I know. It's <laughs> not as bad as you with its leg. <laughs> it's not crying, though. Look, no, it's fine. His baby grows a little bit big, though. Look, look at his arms. Yeah. Maybe we need to get a smaller baby grow for our baby. I don't know, though. He must just have short arms because he fits his legs perfectly. It does. Fine. Yep, definitely He'll got short arms. Home. Jessica Murphy says, how many colours does the Vista come in? I like the look and the style of it. Quite a lot. I'm trying to think off the top of my head how many. How many? It comes, Emmett, yeah. Finn, Hazel. Sierra. Uh, no. Jordan. Yeah. Jake. Did you say Hazel? You did say yeah. Hazel. Um, over half a dozen. Make think now. <laughs> over half so a dozen. So it comes in colours from your greys. So this is Finn, the blue. Um, it comes in hazel. I love this. Yeah, it's really nice. Hazel, which is their dark green. Emmet, um, it's like a... a lighter green, a lighter, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a lighter green. It's, it's really... It's really I'm hard trying to, to find it. something in that colour, but I can't. No, it's, it's lighter than, than our background colour. Yeah. But it's, it's really nice. Um, you've then got... Jake, which is their black, and it comes on the black chassis. So lots of different options. Um, they are all on our website if you wanted to take a look. Oh, look. Sorry. To... The Vista was from us, Joe Meekin said. I thought oh, it was. It? Jolene Jojo Stanley, she won a Quinny Mood travel system from us eight years ago. And the mountain buggy carrier three years ago. And she's still here with us. Maybe in long, winter, winter changing mat today. Along for the journey. That's what we like to see. Yes, yes. many years nice ago. Nice to see you come back. Yeah. Many years ago, before we opened the store, we were just a digital publication. Yeah, we've been giving away stuff for years. Yeah. And the prices only get better. They do. So there we go. There we go. Feature again, it's got your telescopic handle. And the probably one of the biggest baskets I've ever seen on a pusher. <laughs> you can fit a small village in there. Or a large village. One of the two. But yes, you can see here the basket is huge. It's, it's so big. Look, you can even fit your changing, your changing mat. mat in it, look. <laughs> Don't change your baby in the basket. Yeah, it's not a portable changing, they all. But that just shows you how big the basket is. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot that competes with the I changing. I haven't found one yet no. that's bigger. Um, no. It's a really, really nice large size. Something I would say people... Again, they don't necessarily think, especially if it's first baby, I don't know if I need a big basket. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, you keep you a lot in your basket. If you think about it, you would probably have your changing bag um, up to the top um, where you've got, obviously, all your baby's essentials. But while you're out, you haven't got then, then those hands free. Your basket is then used. <laughs> and I also found that after my first child, I did a lot more walking. Yeah. And I had to go out for a walk because baby is settled, baby sleeps, just... I'd walk into town and buy things. Apparently, my husband said I didn't need, but obviously I did need them. So <laughs> she had know, a big basket. I, I had a big it. basket so I could fill it. You can see here we've got the adapters on at the front because the Vista is a product Double, yeah. that you can take to children on. Yeah. Okay. Um, little features on the basket. You have got your pockets at the bottom. Um, you've got a, sorry, a pocket at the bottom and then two pockets at the back. And um, this is the Vista V2, so it's the new one. Yeah, the Vista V2. Um, another one to look at if you quite like a good size basket is actually it's, it's baby sister, um, the cruise. <laughs> the cruise. The but your cruise. cruise is only a single. We had the cruise yeah. yesterday. Was it a cruise in yesterday? Yes, it was. I think so. I wasn't in yesterday, but I think so. Yeah, no, we did, yeah, yeah. We did the uh, cruise V2 yesterday in yeah. the Sierra colour. Yeah. So it's, it's baby sister, so it doesn't have the feature of a tandem. If it's a tandem that you're looking for, it's more, it obviously is the Vista. Um, or obviously there are other options as well, but it just keeps the same feature of a nice large basket. They're loving the basket. It is really big. I would ask you to get in, but although you're very light, you're a little bit heavier than I'm this. still a bit heavier than Still a little bit heavy, heavy. Yeah. sorry. So again, Vista, again, thinking about your wheels, you've got nice big wheels, yep. so it's going to be great for normal family life, and you have got the opportunity to future-proof. Yeah, another great thing is to look at with push chairs is, I mean, it's, it's a hard one to look at when necessarily online. Sometimes it, it is easier to see, but it's the fold. Yeah. How it folds. If you have a smaller boot, you would need something that's a little bit more compact. Or necessarily, I say this all the time, you can still have a big boot. <laughs> you don't want to necessarily fill it with a big push chair. Yeah. It's personal choice, um, to be honest. For example, this one, I'll just show you the fold on this one. Um, it is a, it's a little bit of a longer fold, um, but if you have got any questions about a specific push chair if you want Can to see the fold the and you can't necessarily see it obviously online 
just give us a message and we can show you. We can always fold them and take photographs of them next to each yeah. other. Yeah, um, so this one, if I just drop my handle, it will then free sand for me. Ta da So there we go. And you can fold it with the seat unit on. You can fold it with the so seat unit on. So some push chairs you can fold with your seat unit on, some you have to take, take it everything off. off. Yeah, again, something else to kind of look at. Um, if you'd rather just be able to take it all down in one and get it in the car. Um, but I think I know, I think you say, haven't you, Jo? Even if you can fold the seat on, it's you always take heavier. it off. It's a bit heavier. I always take it off because I do find it a bit heavier. My car's quite high up, so it's a big, yeah. quite a height to uh, lift it into. So I generally yeah. take my seat unit off. But I am lucky that my boot is big, yeah. so I can put the seat unit one side and the chassis yeah. the other. But well, I tend to take it off. Yeah, if you have necessarily a smaller, smaller boot, it would be a case of juggling where to put the seat unit before the chassis. Another great thing we always like to show when demoing um, is... The tummy gap. <laughs> Kirsty loves the tummy gap. She does. And she's passed that on to me. <laughs> yep, we, yep. So, um, like Joe was saying, she's got quite high boots. So, what Joe would probably benefit from is having a push chair that has, like, say, a tummy gap. So Are you, you referring to the size of my tummy there? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm saying, I'm it's quite easier. When you have a tummy gap on um, the push chair chassis, you can then push it up easier and higher into the boot. Whereas, for example, if it's more of a square fold um, or rectangle fold, you would then have to put it on your hip to then put higher up. It just, it just makes it a little bit easier um, to put it in and out of the car. Sinead Munihan, I hope I've said that correctly, says it fits in her Vauxhall Corsa boot. But this there? Mm -hmm. I think that's what yeah. she's talking about. Yeah, it's not too big of a fold at all. It Considering a, it's a push chair that will carry twins. Yeah, it's a really so small fold. So it's big yeah. enough to have two chunky toddlers on it. Yeah. I'm not saying anybody's going to have chunky toddlers, but, <laughs> you know, it, your push chairs that will go from yeah. one to two tend to have a slightly bigger chassis. Yeah. Um, and again, you can go the opposite way if you are somebody who travels quite a lot um, or needs something that's really compact. You can then find a push chair that's really small. Right, well, should we have a look? at So we've gone from your bigger push chairs. Should we have a look at some tiny push chairs? Yeah. Tiny Again, tiny on the opposite chairs. end. So if you don't necessarily need something that's a tandem and that takes two, um, but you want something that's a little bit, you live in a city or, again, you travel quite often. Or you're going to put your push chair in your house and you've not got quite so much room because houses are small, especially new builds. Yep. So I'm going to grab the Cybex. Can, honestly, it's like wheels overlapping in here. That's because I squished them together. <laughs> so we've got a couple of smaller ones here for you to look at today. Yeah. So this might be suitable for you if you're a bit more short of space, either in your car or at home. If you are a shorter person and some of the push chairs, you can look a bit daft. If you are a shorter person, sometimes some of these larger push chairs you do, you know, you do look a bit daft with. Um, whereas these are more petite, but yep. you've still got a lot of your features of your yep. bigger options. So your hybrid that Joe has there um, has still keeps its nice big chunky wheels. Um, so perfect. Okay, we call it like a sort of all-terrain push chair. So if you do a lot, lot of walking, um, it will take you over most surfaces, unless you are really like muddy fields and. Yeah, Break good for a lot. sort of normal family life, but for yeah. a small push chair, it has quite big wheels. Yeah, it has. It's so also the feet. handle. <laughs> <laughs> it does go very long and quite high, doesn't it? Which is really nice. Um, it has the ability to change into... <laughs> very, very distracting. <laughs> um, to change into a tandem. So um, it's, it's great because, again, you can This is a proof. very petite tandem, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good all-rounder. I'd really like the hybrid. Um, it has... A good size basket, it extends once you then use it as a double. Um, seat, so we've got the carry cot on here, um, really good size again. It does feature little things like ventilation. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, ventilation at the back here. Ventilation at the back there. And then Joe was just about to show the sorry, seat. There, there we go. Pop the hood down. So where's our baby? Um, I think it, yeah, it's in the vista. Come um, on, baby. <laughs> so again good size you can get um include sorry. sorry um elevators so you can bring again your carry cot higher up it doesn't change the um height oh, almost look. angle towards you but oh, see oh. Adapters, look. um we hide all sorts of things in our carry carts obviously <laughs> but Maybe. it just allows you to bring your carry cot and seat units a little bit higher especially in tandem mode so clever product the hybrid yeah and an not, I think we should do a live on the hybrid because yep. it's kind of like 
a bit of a secret. People don't know about the hybrid and they don't know about the flexibility of the hybrid. Yep. And the colours of the hybrid because they are lovely. And it's good value for money. Six yeah, nine really. nine as a travel system with so your I car seat. With an I size car seat. With an I size car seat. Um, Another little feature is a different fold to your Vista. It's a one-handed fold. Um, so you can one-hand fold. Again, something a little bit easier. Do you easier. want to demo it? Yeah. I'm just going to go back so there's any comments come through. Remember, all our comments and questions are entered into a draw to win a changing mat this morning. So thank you for joining us. It's great to see you again. Sammy Willits, I love my hybrid tandem. There we go. Right, I'm off, Sammy. You, you, You've done it. You said it You've for done it. it. You've done it. So I'm going to take the handle all the way down to the lowest point, just it will make it smaller um, and it's a say one-handed fold pull up your handle and push down on your button at the same time and down we go so for so a push chair again that's going to have two children you it's have got a nice small fold so your vista was small this one is even smaller so if you are short of space but you need to carry two children whether it's yeah. twins or whether it's siblings the hybrid can meet a lot of criteria because yeah. it is a more petite option. Yeah, and they say you saw how easy that was to fold and then getting back up again. It's so easy. It's very, it's nice and light, a nice light push chair again. So if you're thinking you've got quite a high boot, it's not as something as heavy obviously to pop in and out of your boot on the go. So Thank you very much to those people who have joined us this morning. We know lots of people are out Christmas shopping and getting ready for Christmas. Have you managed to get ready for Christmas? You, you're just like misorganised. I am. I'm, I'm too done? excited now. I am done. You did, your Christmas, you, did you pick up all your shopping? Yeah. That was my food shopping then. <laughs> but it was Christmas food in there. I was like, oh, I need this. I need have you got like lots of nibbles? Yeah. And people pop, well, people can't people pop, pop around. People pop around. No. Just, it's just, just for me. <laughs> just for nibbles me, though. For um, yeah, lots of little picky bits. It's the best thing about Christmas. I've got, I've got a click and collect booked, but there's really random things on it. I've not been through, so yeah. I must remember to go through it. Otherwise, it's just going to be really random. And I'm really proud of myself. Yesterday, I made a trifle. I, bought, I love trifle for Christmas time and I made one and I was so proud of myself. Was it nice? Yeah. Did you bring it in? No, because it didn't last the night. Oh. <laughs> a massive trifle. Was it a, not a fruit trifle or a chocolate trifle? It was fruit. It was a raspberry trifle. A traditional trifle. Yeah. I made, what did we make? I made a fruit cake. I've got a really good fruit cake recipe, okay? Because it's really easy. Even, Can you, you tell we're hungry? Yeah. It's really <laughs> we're easy. We're talking food. Okay, I'm going to tell you this fruitcake recipe. Write it down, okay? Grab a piece of paper. It is the new Mary Berry. Yeah. It, no, it's just simple. <laughs> 500 grams of fruit. So, like, your sultanas or your mixed fruit. So, I just got a bag of mixed fruit. Mm. But I did half mixed fruit and half sultanas because I don't like too much, too much peel. Yeah. So, 500 grams of fruit in a bowl. 300 mils of, oh, I guess right now, 300 mils of liquid. Now the recipe said you can use any liquid, so you can use cold tea, you can use orange juice, even said you could use chocolate milk, which I didn't use because I thought that'd be What disgusting. did you use? Shay? I used orange juice. You can use alcohol, but as this was for my five-year-old, I decided I'd better not. <laughs> and this is great because my daughter has loads and loads of allergies, so it, it's really, really simple. Yeah. Um, so you leave it overnight, get it out, all the fruit's gone, yeah. like this. And then you add, better get this right, haven't I? Some flour, some self-raising some flour. flour. Uh, I think it was, I, I, don't quote me on this. I, I'll find out how much flour. She'll leave it in the comments below her actual recipe. And you mix it all up and yeah. then you put it in the oven for 90 minutes on 150. So it's only three ingredients. Wow. And it worked really well. And it was we nice, it tastes nice. It was, we're all still alive. You know, probably not quite as good as my mum's Christmas cake that she makes us every yeah. year. I do like baking but at Christmas time. She though. does spend a lot of time making her Christmas cakes yeah. and she's a really good baker. So yeah. anyway, we digress. We digress. We've gone from push chairs to food. Push chairs to food. <laughs> Only us would do that, Joe. Only us. Only us. Mm, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I think we'll all do that. Yeah. So if you have joined us, feel free to ask us any questions about food. And what things have you made? Yeah. <laughs> And even your food questions will be entered into our draw to win yeah. a changing map. We've it's got two all winners. Chair it's not here. all push chair related, you see. <laughs> um, so I have here, going back to push chairs, let's bring it back to what we're here for, um, the Cybex oh, Neos. Yes. <laughs> not here for cake. Lots of people don't know about the Cybex No, Neos. it's They've kind of like a hidden one. The preamp, yeah. but not the Mios. And the Mios is the preamp's little sister. Yeah, um, as you can see, it's a petite, nice petite version. I like the Mios. Cybex are known really good quality on their all their products. 
German. German engineering, very, very clever in what they all do. So it, it, it say everything that work, does here works nice and easy and smooth. Um, so it is quite a lower carry cock because it is a petite push chair. You have got your... It's a beautiful finish to it, though, isn't it? Oh, I mean, when you... Cameraman's going to come close in a moment. You don't... But just because it's a compact push chair doesn't mean you lose out on any features at all. Um, but as you can see, inside of that is just beautiful. It has the built-in head support at the top. Um, so if you are going over those bumpier, um, rougher surfaces... <laughs> so it's maybe like this. Yeah, they'll be, be fine. Okay. They'll be OK. They'll be fine. Um, See, so it's all built in within the top, and the padding on the material is really, really nice as well. Again, Laura Marsh is food shopping tomorrow. She's cheating this year, as it's just the seven of them at home. Just the seven? That's enough. <laughs> they've, oh, they've ordered their Christmas dinner from the local pub. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a good idea. It's nice to support local businesses yeah. at the moment, though. I nice. wish, yeah, I wish we could do that. I don't know if anywhere around here does. I'm cooking. I'm it's normally my mum, but we can't go and see mum and dad this year. So no. my mum does the best Christmas dinner. Because she's an awesome cook, yeah. so it's down to me. You can do it, Joe. I can do it, it's fine. And if not, you've got your cake. <laughs> yeah, we love cooking, so it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. We'll, I've you got. enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, parmesan parsnips. Or, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, have you not had parmesan parsnips? No, I haven't. Delia Smith. Delia Smith. Got to have parmesan parsnips on Christmas Day. Oh, very nice. Anyway. Do you have Yorkshire puddings? Yes. Because that's boys, a debate, isn't it? Debate with Yorkshire the puddings. The boys insist on Yorkshire, Yorkshire puddings, puddings yeah. so we have to have Yorkshire puddings. And I make a good Yorkshire pudding. And I'm a Yorkshire girl, so yeah. I know you can't tell from my accent, but yeah. I am a Yorkshire girl, so we have to have Yorkshire puddings. You have to have the Yorkshire puddings. Anyway, back to our Cybex Mios. Because it's a compact curry cot um, and push chair, it doesn't, again, doesn't lose the features. This has got your big panel of ventilation at the back there. Um, again, perfect for those summer babies. And also, oh, Jolene says he's a big baby. Yeah, he's a six-month-old, this baby, size of a six-month-old. So he's going to be moving into the seat unit very, very quick. Yeah. Um, but again, it's something to consider when you are going for more of a smaller carry cot um, and push chair. You've got your ventilation all the way around the bottom. Something else that I love on a push chair, memory buttons. Um, oh, you and your memory buttons. We love a memory button. Anything to make it a little bit easier. Should we take baby out? And yeah. Come, baby. Might make it a bit easier to get it off for me. <laughs> <laughs> but you have your memory buttons on here. There you go, baby. So you have a button, just a black button, one, this side of the, the carry cart, push it in. As you can see, it's stayed in, so it's remembered it. And I also have one this side. So once I've done two, I can then obviously use one hand. Sarah Clark loves off. the frame. Yeah, we've got rose gold here. Yeah, look at that. It, a bit of rose enough. gold for you this morning. Um, it is available with a chrome frame or a black frame yeah. as well. Very, very clever. Um, and as you can see, you can, well, it's very deceiving. It's very, very compact. Do you want to show you how, how it folds? It's very Do you know, small. when the Mios came out, I wasn't sure whether I liked it, and it has massively grown on me. Massively oh, I really like it. Really, yeah, it's, it's, if, it's an, if a small, compact stroller is what you want, or a pushchair is what you need, say if you live in a city, um, you just haven't got, you store it in the house, um, or you just generally just don't want necessarily a bigger pusher. Yeah. You don't need a tandem. It's such a lovely option to look at. It has got your smaller wheels. So again, it's it's great for just your standard walking about, say, city styling. And it's a very city urban pusher. Yes, yeah, more it? designed for that. But it's all it says you wouldn't take it on your woodland as many you, woodland no. walks. And no, it's not really designed for that. for that. Yeah. But again, it depends on your life. So this could be the perfect push chair for you. Um, folding wise, you've just got your button at the top that changes your angle um, again. But if you push forward, as you can see, it kind of takes itself. It's so clever in how it works. Oh my goodness, sorry. What a wonderful fold. I was saying, oh my goodness, at your fold. I was just feeling for Laura Marsh. Three of her seven are foster babies. 13 months, six months and five months old. She didn't fancy trying to cook a Christmas dinner with three babies. So we're ordering it in and supporting our local. I'm not surprised you didn't want to cook a Christmas dinner no, with three I'm not. babies. And again, you're supporting a local business. Yeah, really well nice. done, Laura. If I could, I would. <laughs> <laughs> and it's her husband's 40th birthday on Christmas Day, so a treat oh, for wow. us all. Happy birthday, Mr. Marsh. Yeah, for mercy, see, we do yeah. happy birthday shout outs. You yeah. know, we'll send you a fruitcake. <laughs> Now you've got to make a fruit cake, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I want to learn Joe's fruit cake recipe. Um, but yeah, as you can see, very, very light, um, very, very easy to fold, and very compact. It's so small. 
So this is our Cybex Mios. Today we've been talking about all the different things are worth thinking about when you're yep. choosing a new pushchair. Anybody seen any that are their favourites today? They want any more information? Oh, we've missed out two. We're going to go through those quite quickly, I think. So we have also got our all-terrain version here. So if you are the sort of person you're out and about in the countryside a lot, we have got one of our baby joggers out. Now, we have got our carry cot that doesn't match the fabrics just because we have the two colours on display so that you can see just the Just show the different difference. options, yeah. Different but, options there. So, it's, this is the baby jogger um, Elite. <clears throat> City Elite 2. City Elite 2. As you can see on here, this is probably the, the, the wheels on this are just perfect. If you are looking, are you, if you are somebody who is more... Um, you have quite a, like a farm living or you are auto, you do mm. lots and lots of walking and um, perfect for you because as you can see these wheels will take you kind of over most surfaces which is great um, they are um, foam filled so they're, they are puncture proof um, and really really nice um, big long seat you get a good size basket which I really really like um, on because some can be quite small because they're kind of hide within the seat and carry cart on the single mode is really really big yeah you double is slightly smaller because they do uh double push chairs as yeah. well um but the single mode it have got a very very big and to be honest even for, the, even for the double the carry carts are a good size yeah. but this one again it's, it's a standard size carry cart um really really nice you just have to take your hood off um to use the carry cart that's on why here. yeah but it's really nice because it's in all terrain that you you don't have to make the sacrifice of oh well i have to, have to go in the seat Worth facing. You can have a carry cart on here. But you can use your seat unit on this from, from birth, birth as well. Yeah. So you don't have to have options. the carry cart. It's, it's multi choice, really, really nice. Um, got some nice features. It still keeps its ventilation. Panel all the way along the back, obviously, if the carry cart's not in there, that's um, <laughs> then it'd be used. Um, but perfect for when they're in the seat unit. Olivia says perfect for football. I'm assuming she means going to watch football, not play football with it. Well, I suppose you could kick the ball with it. You could do. <laughs> Hey, it could be a challenge in the summer. We could have a football push chair yeah, challenge. We could. Um, and specifically, the baby jogger has what you call a handbrake. There's no foot brake. Um, perfect, because it's just up here. It just means you're not going to get any mud, any grit, anything in your brake when it's at the bottom. And it's just really easy to work. And one of the things to bear in mind, though, with this push chair and some push chairs is you use the carry cot for the first six months, but then baby will be world facing. facing. So it's the same for the out and about. Nipper 360. Your other all terrains that will go from birth, you've got your mountain buggy. On those, you can use the carry cot plus, which will allow you to have a carry cot for the first six months yeah. and then a parent facing seat. But although it's quite a small parent facing seat, or any of those we've just talked about, you can go world facing from birth. So some seat units you can use from birth, yeah. um, which will bring your budget down. Yeah. Because you only use your carry cot for six months. So for some people, your carry cot is yeah. not important. I'm a carry cot kind of a girl. I do like I do my like, carry I love carry cot, yeah. um, You know, but it's not for everybody. So obviously, you would then clip your hood on. Did we bring the hood? Yes, yeah, behind the reflex. You don't need to clip it on. It's fine. We'll just bring it out. Um, just show, it does have one. <laughs> it does have one. Yeah, I don't want you to think it doesn't have one. It has one, and it keeps the features on the hood of your peekaboo window. <clears throat> just so you can obviously see this one. Because they are world-facing. Um, at six months, say they've gone into the seat unit, you can still see them, which is really nice. And magnets, nice little special feature there, which is really nice. Perfect. Again, you don't have to make a sacrifice because you live um, a little more um, all terrain kind of rural life. It's perfect for you. I like the City Elite. Yeah, it's I really do nice. Like they the do City other Elite. options. So you have your um, City Mini GT, you've got your City Mini, just they have smaller wheels. Um, but still, depending on your lifestyle, could be perfect for you still. Yeah, so Baby Jogger are um, great in the city, but really, really good if you are out and about a little bit more. Your other option from birth, which again is going to bring your budget down massively, is your strollers. There are some strollers that are suitable from birth, and most brands will do a from birth stroller. Yep. You know, not everybody has the budget for your big prams, and we completely appreciate that. We've got out today the Silver Cross Reflex, and that comes with your newborn insert here. Yeah. 
Um, and this one is one of those that are suitable from birth. In those winter months, we would recommend using it with a foot muff, just so baby is more protected from the elements. But also in those summer months, you know, you still need to keep little yep. one protected from the elements. One of the nice things about the Reflex is the hood. Yep, so you have your standard hood, and then you have a zip all the way around the back. And it has a full extension, as you can see the coverage it gives there. Which is really nice. If you are using it from birth and you want a stroller, yep. it is worth looking at how much coverage little one will get. Not just from the sun, but also yeah. the wind. And you if know. you think as well, if you're using a foot muff, it will kind of help cocoon your little one in as well. You have ventilation, all um, little panels along the top in there, which is really nice. A pocket at the back as well to keep your dummies, any essentials you kind of need. I like the go. pocket on the yeah, back. It's a nice little feature. I really like that. Claire White has just said hello. She had a little power nap, so she missed the start. <laughs> We'd it's all right, go back and watch it. Go back and watch it, Claire. There's no excuse. She obviously had a nana nap. We used to call them a nana nap, where nana's just like full asleep yeah. watching the TV. But yeah, really, really nice. Um, obviously, like I say, it is facing outwards, but perfect because it will last you. It's kind of got, got all the way through, won't it? It is going to go all the you. way through. And for some people, that is going to be a really, really good solution. What we don't want to see is newborn babies in a pushchair or a stroller that is not suitable from newborn. Yeah. So if you are putting your little one straight into a stroller as a newborn, just make sure that it is suitable for a newborn because we yeah. need to keep them in a nice flat position. Yeah, because some still sit at kind of a line. It yeah. needs to be a completely some like flat. Some of your strollers are from six months, so just be a little bit careful. Yeah. This specific one um, from Silver Cross has your extendable handle which is really clever so if you are getting quite tall and you are wanting a stroller from birth it's a nice option to look at and again when you're choosing if you're choosing a stroller having had one of your larger prams again it's worth doing your research to make sure the handle height is going to be right for you the reflex is one of the only ones with an ex yeah. ex extendable, extendable, handle. extendable handle so if you are a tall parent or part of your team whether it's the lady or the man um yeah is taller it is worth thinking about that thinking handle height you've got one up and one down <laughs> i'm on a wonk <laughs> i was like we can lose that one up one i down. didn't even notice uh jolene says she'd love a power nap yes yeah, so would i so would yeah. i i'm having the afternoon off this afternoon I might go home for a power nap or not jealous jane or delivering christmas cards or running around after a five-year-old so it won't be a power nap will it no we might go Just for go a walk hide go, it's a nice day we might go for a walk so she says claire's back 18 weeks pregnant and a nearly two-year-old it's tiring yes <laughs> yeah have lots of nana naps have lots of naps take your naps when you can <laughs> yeah just have them while you can because you know if you're 18 weeks pregnant you know not too many weeks and months. <laughs> Not going to get many more naps, are you? So, yeah. Right. I think it is time to draw our winner. Hopefully, it's been uh, helpful for you this morning. We have been looking at different things to think about when you are choosing your first pushchair. Now, I have asked the office to keep an eye on us and to draw our winner. So, office, if you are listening... <laughs> Can you draw two winners? So all your comments today are entered into the draw for um, our changing mats. These are our Mamas and Papas changing mats. Yep. They're great value for money <clears> at the moment. They should be £19 and they are £15. Um, and These are just some of the designs that we have. Just some of the designs that we've got here. They are great to keep under the sofa. One at grandparents. They're brilliant quality. Absolutely brilliant quality. Yeah, really nice to wipe down. Just hide, put, hide away underneath the sofas and... Well, it looks like we've got our winners. Thank you very much. Ooh, I <laughs> like winners are. Magic. Thank you. So Anna's drawn our random winners today. Now make sure you join us tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a comparison video. So you've lots of people asked for comparison videos. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And tomorrow we have a pram to give away. We are giving away the beautiful Venici Tinum in camo grey. So you may have seen it yesterday yeah. on our live, but tomorrow we're giving away a Venici Tinum. So make sure you join us between 11 and quarter past and we will be going live. So hopefully you will join us. So, shall we announce our winners? We should. Who wants to win? Let's have a look whether any... Oh, they're all saying good luck to each other. Oh, I really like this look. Aww. Yes, we're all wishing each other good luck, which is so, so nice. I'm just going to refresh that. 
I could go, it's not you, but that's, <laughs> I think that joke's getting a little bit boring. So our first winner is Alex Bristow. So well, well done, done Alex. Alex. You are our first winner. Let us know which, which one you're going to choose. Which one do you think they'll choose? I wonder. So with that one, if you let us know, Alex, your address details and your contact number. And which one you like, courier, yeah. Which one you like, we will get that on the courier today and it will be with you tomorrow. And our second winner, because we've not got one winner today, we've, we've got, got two, two winners. winners. So our second winner. Oh, Alex says, yay! Look, I just re refreshed it. Yeah, oh, they're liking the idea about the competition tomorrow. Ooh, yeah, I thought, I thought you'd like that. It's a good so, one. Well done, Alex. Our second winner, I wonder whether they're online still. I hope they're online. It's nice when they're still online. Is Abigail Laura Ronaldson. So, Abigail well Laura Ronaldson. That's a bit Again, of a which well one done. would you like? Um, and say, so send us a message with all your details and we can get that sent to you. So, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Well done to our winners today, Alex Bristow and Abigail Laura Ronaldson. You are our winners today. You've won our changing mats. Tomorrow we are giving away the Venici Tinum, which is an amazing yeah. prize. Absolutely amazing prize. So, hopefully you will join us. And all it's left to say, happy Christmas shopping, if you've yep. not done it. Happy cake up. making. Still not done it. Got some things to send out on the courier today. Must not forget. Otherwise yeah, I'm I've got to do the, the drop. The drop off. Do you want me to send everything off? Because now we can't see anyone. Yeah. It's kind of... Just... Put it through the letterbox and Merry run. Christmas. <laughs> Bye. But thank you for joining us, everybody. And we will see you tomorrow, shortly after 11 o'clock. Yep. Happy Christmas shopping. And happy Thursday. Is, Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yes. Yeah, Thursday. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Bye. Bye.